All right, today I'm going to have a little play around with some uh, track intersections and signaling in Satisfactory. So I've got here two of the most common sort of types of intersections you'd probably end up working with. Um, these tracks obviously going in different directions, moving into a bi-directional track. And we've got this other intersection where we've got um, different directional tracks connecting to each other. In this case at 90 degrees, but it doesn't have to be in yours. Um, in most cases, what you're going to be using is uh, pathing is block signals, which are these kinds of signals here. Um, you'll want to, as you build them, you want to make sure that they're following the uh, direction that you intend to, for your trains to go down that track. Now, when you have bi-directional tracks, obviously you build in both directions. Now what I've got here is I've built this up with all of these are block signals. Um, what this will mean, if I build it out like this, is that any train coming through might stop in the middle of the intersection um, before proceeding. Now that's not really ideal for some situations. Um, because you may end up blocking this whole block, huh, blocking this whole intersection for a train that's trying to get down this path, and there's uh, further blocks, uh, further, like, and that path might be occupied, so you won't be able to get the train down there. Um, which means that nothing will be able to go down the other paths within that block. Um, so what you probably want to do for intersections is on all of your entry paths. So that'd be this one here, this one here. Ooh, come on, bud. There we go. And this one here is actually used path blocks. Now that'll that path blocks path signals. Now that'll tell that'll make your train stop outside the intersection. It won't enter the intersection unless it can get out, but also um, allows trains traveling in different directions down the intersection. So if we've got one train going this way and one train going this way, um, they will be able to both proceed through the intersection at the same time. So they won't, because they're not traveling down the same bit of track, they won't uh, interact with each other um, and they won't prevent each other entering the path block. Now, what you, to be able to build that, you maintain your block signals on the exits for your intersection, like I've done here, and you build out path signals on all the entrances to your intersection. Um, similar with this over here, you will want to build path signals on all your entrances, block signals on all your exits. Now make sure when you're doing this that you're building them on the correct side of the track in the correct direction to follow your track layout. Now I'm building these on the outside of the track because that's the way I've designed this, but uh, there are other parts of my base where I do actually have to have them on the inside set because my directions are wrong. Um, well, wrong, they're just, you know, left-hand drive versus right-hand drive, right? So, um, yeah, my, my path and my signal indicators end up on other sides of the tracks. But yeah, so this is basically how you'd want to set up both of these sets of intersections. Um, I can now, let's have a look at how the trains behave as they travel through here. So we're just gonna Turn on the trains and have a watch. So you see that there, that those two trains pass through that intersection without interacting. Because that one stopped because it wants to turn. We've got that one turning as well. Now 
Now there are some priorities that are coded into the way Satisfactory works. I haven't figured out how these priorities work yet, but they are evident that they are there. All right, that looked pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and good luck with uh, building your trains and signaling.